Grace, thank you for the letter. I started writing as soon as I could, right off the bat. By the way, remember playing baseball in the backyard? That was one of my favorite memories with you. Mom and Dad are doing great, and they both said hi. Everyone here is so friendly, and it has the best ice cream ever. I can't help but think how crazy the world is every time I look down. But you used to always tell me, Kyle, be strong and courageous. You were always a great big sister, and I miss you a lot. I can't talk long, so let's make a promise to be strong and courageous together. Like Mom always said, trust God and His plan and put faith in Jesus. I love you, sis. Can't wait for you to come home. <laughs> you mentioned the ice cream is much better there. He was so happy to hear from you. He waited for so long. Such a beautiful letter. I hope he's not too upset with me. Never. Your brother's doing just fine. Your father, too. They both love you very much. What is it, dear? It's nothing. It's just that... This is the first time we've spoken since the accident. Guess I'm still trying to adjust. And I'm sorry for that. You mustn't be heavy on your heart, dear. It wasn't your fault. That's the last memory I have with you. Honey, listen. I know you're hurt. There's a lot of hurt in this world. I also know that nothing can bloom without a little rain. So yes, it may pour for a season. It still hurts. Even after two years. Sweetheart, allow yourself some time to blossom. I assure you the rain won't last forever. Mom, I want to ask you something. Oh, honey, even the angels in heaven don't know the day or hour, but only the Father. A man and his family endured 40 days and 40 nights of rain. Why? How about three Hebrew children thrown into a furnace because of their faith? Do you think Noah or even Shadrach, Meshach, or Abednego faced storm and worry? Even when the world criticized these men, these righteous men held strong in their faith. They all shared one thing. They were ready. A different kind of storm is coming, and we have to prepare while there's still time. Matthew 24, 36 tells you all you need to know. I want you to promise me something. When your faith is tested, think about Peter and his situation when Jesus told him to walk out on the water. Don't get lost in the current like so many people will do. Because there will come the day when that current no longer reaches shore. So many people will drown, never knowing they were sinking all along. Your little brother referenced Joshua 1 9 for a reason. Know that home is just around the corner.
Heavenly Father, help us to understand that we are not of this world, for we do not belong here. So we must stay focused during these perilous times and hold strong in our faith. I pray that this generation awakens from their deceiving ways and seeks your salvation. Come into our lives, search our hearts, and restore our hearts filled with burdens. To those whom are sick, heal. To those whom are lost, find. To those whom are shattered, restore like new. Help us to prepare ourselves as Noah did, for the days we live are in the same manner. And when that moment comes in the twinkling of an eye, I pray that we're all ready. In your name I pray, Amen.